here is the pattern drafting so it's long overdue for pattern makers, sewers and designers alike. You won't need these anymore. You won't have to calculate pattern blocks anymore. This method puts pattern making within the reach of every sewer. I'm going to draw a pattern for a bust size of 104 centimeters. And to do that, all I have to do is follow the steps and mark where 104 is around this pattern ruler. Outline the pattern ruler along the left and along the top. Mark your bus size at step 1. Mark your bus size at step 2. And mark your bus size at step 3. Now join 1 and 2 with a straight line. Here is step 4. Put this on top of that, like this. Pivot the pattern ruler until your bus size on the neck curve lines up with the line underneath. Now draw in the front neckline curve. Slide the pattern ruler down to this mark made at step 3. Draw across the ruler to step 5. Mark your bus size at step 5. Here is the armhole. Put your bust size here on the bottom of the armhole curve. Line up your bust size on the pattern ruler here and draw in the front armhole. Turn the pattern ruler over to draw the back pattern. I'm marking my bust size at 1, step 2, step 3, step 4, step 5. And step 6. Outline the pattern ruler. Mark your bus size at step 1. Mark your bus size at step 2. Mark your bus size at step 3 and step 4. Join steps 1 and 2 with a straight line. Use this curve here to join step 1 and 4 with a neckline. Like this. Slide the pattern ruler down the paper and line it up here with this mark made at step 3. Drawn along the top of the pattern ruler to step 5. Mark your bus size at step 5. Slide the pattern ruler up to draw in the back armhole. Line up your bus size here on step 5 on the curve and line up the top of the curve with the end of the shoulder line. By using my bus size on the pattern ruler, I now have an accurate basis, which I can be confident is my real bus size. Measured with a tape measure like this. Now I will fine tune it even further to fit all my measurements. And so this is how you can do this as well. Measure from your front shoulder to your waist. This goes down here. Measure your back shoulder to your waist. And that goes down on the pattern here. Front shoulder to waist. Back shoulder to waist. The front shoulder to waist is always longer than the back shoulder to waist because of the bust prominence. The waistline goes in here. So you apply a quarter of the waist width on the front and a quarter of the waist width on the back pattern. Remember you are working with four pattern pieces, two fronts and two backs, so your quarter waist goes on the front and the back pattern. Now join the side seams. You have a flat piece of paper and you have a flat piece of fabric. Your body is a three-dimensional moving form. To make the flat fabric fit your figure with style and shape, we need to put in a dart. The dart must be the right size for you and must be in the right position for you. To do this correctly, we must position the bus point. 
measured from shoulder to nipple. To create the dot, line up the pattern ruler like this, diagonally with the side seam and touching your bus point. To get the dot the right size for you, measure the side seam of the back, measure the side seam of the front, and the difference between the two will be the size of the dot. The dot is positioned on either side of that center line. Here you can see by using this method, by putting your own measurements into the pattern, whatever your lifestyle, whatever your size, your shape, or your age group, now you can get a pattern to fit you. Measure the width of your hips and position a quarter of your hip width 18 centimeters below the waistline. Quarter of my hip width on the back pattern. Remember, we are dealing with four pattern pieces, although we can only see two. So four pattern pieces, we need a quarter hip width on each pattern piece. I'm going to show you how to design a simple princess blouse. This is to show you how easily you will be able to create your own designs. If you've ever wished that you could create the styles you see on TV, your own styles, the first step is to learn how to make your own patterns. And this is how it's done. Draw a line from the shoulder to the bust point. This will be the panel line that will cut the pattern through. Draw a line straight down from the bust point to the hip. So this will be the center front of the pattern and this will be the side front. This blouse has buttons down the center front, so we need to add a button stand. For the button stand, we will add 2 centimeters parallel to the center front. Buttons will be sewn onto the center front line, and the button holes on the other side will also go on the center front line. Draw in the neckline as you prefer. I'm drawing a v-neck line because that's what shows on the photograph. Note that the neck line must go to the end of the button stand. This is the basic concept of all designs, transferring a dot to create different styles. Watch how easy this can be done. I'm going to cut into this dot. I'm going to close this dot and I'm going to transfer it to the panel line. Cut up to, but not through, the bus point. Closing the dot and transferring it to the panel line causes the pattern and thus the fabric to mimic the curves of the figure. So now when I close the dot, the value of the dot has been transferred to the panel line. So now I have two pieces of front pattern. When they join together, they will shape over the bust in the right place and in the right size for your figure. Like this. Closing the dot has caused the side seam to go a bit swift. All you do is just join those two measured points back together again. And there, you're done. If you would like the notes with illustrations on how to design this princess style blouse, contact me through the website.